Taft Elementary School officials had to escort a person off the Santa Ana campus this morning for trespassing. Police say minutes later, that suspect drove onto the sidewalk, hitting three children, and they found incendiary devices inside that suspect's car. Orange County reporter Jessica Denova is live outside the school with the latest. Jessica? And according to a spokesperson with the Santa Ana Police Department, we're learning, luckily, those three children were transported to the hospital in stable condition. In the last hour, we've also learned the identity of the suspect. I'm told he's a man from Valencia, 26-year-old Jason Guzman, again, of Valencia. Police tell me officers found three incendiary devices in his vehicle and say the suspect was injured himself with what appears to be a self-inflicted knife wound. Earlier today, one witness I spoke with tells me neighbors in the area did see a knife in the suspect's car. Now, this all started just before 8.30 this morning. Police say Guzman trespassed onto the Taft Elementary School campus, asking to use the restroom. School staff that I've spoken with tell me Guzman did not appear well. They say he was talking to himself, possibly looked like he was under the influence of drugs. Now, staff did escort Guzman off campus, but that's when police say he drove onto Keller Avenue and within the next block drove onto the curb, hitting those three children who were on their way to school, but it didn't end there. Now, parents are just glad to hear their children are okay after the school was on lockdown for about three hours. Some neighbors in the area were evacuated as first responders cleared the scene. I went into a panic attack. I was working and I couldn't, I couldn't work anymore because I was thinking, I'm like, when what happened? Did he went into the school? Are the kids okay? So after colliding with the children, uh, he continued. Uh, the vehicle continued uh, rolling um, and hit another vehicle. I believe that vehicle was parked. Um, then he continued and finally came to a stop, and that's where uh, our officers contacted uh, him in the vehicle. I've not been able to get an update on Guzman's condition, but I am told he was transported to a local hospital. Luckily, the three children that he hit um, are, are in stable condition um, at the hospital. Now, a lot of staff here say that they're upset because they say they've been having an ongoing issue with administrators here about the process when people arrive onto campus. They say it's been an issue, random people arriving on campus and there not being an, uh, an actual screening process to ensure safety here. Um, I'm trying to get more on that. And I'm also hearing from staff with a, a few of the classrooms here that are disabled and um, hard of hearing uh, that they weren't properly notified. I'm trying to get a little more information on that, but one concern is they say they weren't formally told to evacuate and they actually found out from a janitor, you know, when the janitor noticed they were all still in their classrooms, they told these teachers to get um, these, these uh, students with disabilities out and luckily they were able to join the rest of the students that were evacuated during that lockdown. So we'll have more information on that in later shows. But for now, luckily, those three children who were hit by this man are in stable condition in a local hospital. Reporting live in Santa Ana, Jessica Denova, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Jessica, thank you for the update.